The array picture allows us to derive new multiplication facts from old multiplication facts really easily. So what I've got here in this picture is I have got 10 rows of 3. And that's very easy to see is 30. Now, how can I use this to very quickly and easily work out what 9 lots of 3 is? Well, that's very simple. If 10 lots of 3 are all of these, then to get 9 lots of 3, I only want to come down as far as having 9 rows, so I need to get rid of this last row here. In other words, 9 rows of 3 is just 10 rows of 3 minus 3. In other words, it's 30 minus 3, which is 27. And similarly, if I want to figure out, for example, what will 12 lots of 3 be? Well, I already know that 10 lots of 3 are 30. And so all I need to do to get to 12 is just to add on two more rows at the end. So I must just add on two more lots of 3. So it's going to be my 30 plus 6, which is 36. See, multiplication as array can help me get to a lot of multiplication facts very quickly and easily. So here, for example, what I can see is I've got eight counters in a row. And so if I know my doubling, it's very easy to get to two times eight. It's just double eight. So two times eight, that gives me 16. But this array idea will show me that if I know my two times table, my four times table is really easy. If I want to know what four times eight is, then Picturing the array for 4 times 8, I can just see that 4 times 8 is just 2 lots of 2 times 8. It's just double 2 times 8. So all I have to do is double 16 and I'll get the answer of 32. And hopefully you can immediately see how knowing your 4 times table then takes you straight to knowing your 8 times table. Because all you're doing when you've got 8 lots of 8 is you've got 4 lots of 8 and another 4 lots of 8. So you're going to have 64. Double 32.